my God, stop the car. I found big things. It's a big emu and a big kangaroo. <laughs> I don't know where I am. I love big things. So of course I have to go out and take a photo. Classic. Gotta love a roadside attraction. I just noticed my little thing here is popped open. So check it out. Big emu, big kangaroo. Very clever. I love the emu. What are these things? These things with changing colors, red and green, traffic lights and traffic. Gosh, it's been a long time since I got stuck like this and had to stop because a light told me to. What's the go with that? This is, so this is how normal people live. <laughs> it's like 4 15 um, and we're six minutes away from the caravan park. Thank goodness because I'm knackered and now I've got to deal with traffic lights. Oh yay. What fun. feeling much more rested <laughs> I ended up crashing out at like 10 30 last night and slept I think until about 8 30 so I was obviously very very tired and it was just so nice to have the aircon on and block out everything I mean I don't mind not having the aircon when I'm by a river and it's really quiet but at the moment Wagga has surprised me. It's actually, um, it's like a city. Like I drove in and it was like, there was traffic lights and traffic jams and, and yeah, I was like, oh my goodness. I've been out in the Wop Wops for so long. I had kind of forgotten that, that that's what normal places are like. And I, I just kind of, I don't know, I'd never been here before and I kind of expected it to be like a little country town. Well, a bigger country town than what I'd been at, but I didn't realize it was so built up and there's like all the big shops and everything, which is kind of cool because I bought um, extension leads for my solar panel. And when I had the um, solar panels out at, um, at Daniloquin, it's actually a different connection plug. So there's an anaconda just down the road and I'm gonna go and see if I can um, get some extension lead for the solar panels that so that I could take it all the way to the sun. Um, and yeah, that would have helped a lot. But obviously limitations being that it was cloudy and I just wasn't charging. So I ended up having to drive from Deniliquin to here, which is 255 kilometers with no charge going into my fridge. So I just hoped that everything inside it would just keep it cool enough. Um, but it did, it just certainly defrosted my fridge for me anyway. But yeah, I'm here. Um, tomorrow and the next day I'm going cruising with the F truck roundup but today is my chill out day I'm just gonna do nothing um, and I've just taken Pixie for a walk and discovered there's a beautiful river down there so but not kayakable I don't think because it's quite a fast flowing and the sign saying danger don't swim because of the fast flowing currents and I just have horrors of me ending up in my kayak down the coast somewhere <laughs> So, and also I just, I just need to rest a little bit. Um, I know that wasn't a huge trip, but it felt really big because I think because the heat, the heat um, made it feel harder than it should have been. Um, Pixie was struggling a little bit with it. And when we got here, it was so funny. She wouldn't even get out of the car because I don't think she believed me that we were actually stopping for good. Cause every time we stopped, I'd make it get back in the car and she's like, oh, not more driving. and. So she was really happy that she slept so well as well. We both did. 
so yeah this is um we made it and everything's going really well so i'm happy about that i did have to top up the oil quite significantly yesterday morning when i left it was quite low so i'm gonna to have to keep an eye on that um but then i realized i hadn't checked it before i left like i normally do because because it had been at the mechanics my mindset was thinking oh he would have done the oil and everything but then i realized no it wasn't it wasn't a service it was you know something else that was the it was the transmission he was working on so but it's burnt through a bit of oil it went through about two liters so i'm going to have to get that um keep an eye on that but runs much better when you pour a lot of oil into it so yeah but i'm feeling really good i'm really happy that i've made it here and the next part of the journey will hopefully go as well as this did and it felt really nice to be on the road even though I, if I'd had a better sleep when I left and if I'd had a better sleep at Daniloquin then I probably would have enjoyed it a lot more but it was you know coming across the hay the hay plains basically all between here and um, Daniloquin it's just plains and they're quite windy um, so it wasn't the best driving as far as scenery or anything it was just lots of lots of plains <laughs> it was a bit plain <laughs> it was a bit plain on the plains um, and yeah the scenery will probably change quite significantly on the next part of the journey and it's a really nice caravan park here uh, I, it's expensive I've paid $350 for the week here but I'm gonna have a whole week so after the roundup I've still got more days to just again recharge my batteries which I'm just discovering is just so important if I'm gonna do social things I need downtime afterwards and downtime is really essential to my well-being so yeah this is me from Wagga Wagga good morning good morning from Wagga Wagga it is f-track roundup time Woo so I'm going to get in my effie and go and hang out with some other effies and I'm really looking forward to seeing some other effies and yeah I don't know how many there's going to be there but I'll make sure I get some video of it and show you guys what it's all about what these other crazy f-trackers get up to lots of yellow 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 the few yellows oh my gosh this is like heaven for me right now I'm so excited so excited I'm in every heaven look at these this is the best thing ever hey how good is it how good is it yeah that's our car you can tell can't you pixie yeah oh my goodness oh my goodness ah. this is great oh look at this gorgeous creature ooh, ooh. so sexy so sweet oh my god it's gorgeous that's what yeah, you want that's gets. that's what you wanted to see wasn't it yeah, yeah you're happy you're happy Hello. I see you again. oh you look at this right. wow oh my goodness this is cool this is another long bed no not yet <laughs> she likes the motor <laughs> no. This is what an engine bay is supposed to look like. Like, let's contradict that. That's to, totally different. I still to call them mine. That's so funny because everything's on the other side from mine. So yeah, yeah. Oh, look Very at good. so much room. Oh, yeah, 351 Cleveland. There you go. A few of them running those. This oh. one belongs to Mick. Hey. Yes. Oh, that's the one. Yes. Yeah. Super happy. happy. Lots of effie appreciation happening here. Lots of Very cool. <laughs> ah, so cool. Sixty nine model, so close to mine. Very cool. Effies, effies everywhere. All eras. Another camper. See ya.
Is that doggy in the window? Woof woof! Hi! <laughs> There's a few F truckers uh, camped around me, um, but a lot of them have stayed down at the free camp area at Wilkes Park, which is the meetup point for the cruisers. And um, some of them are just staying the weekend, but I just really wanted to just break up my big trip. Yeah, they've all gone for the cruise today and I've decided to come back here and stay in the caravan um, because I couldn't afford 250 kilometers worth of petrol. That's how long they're cruising for today. I'm like, yeah, nah, if I'm going to put petrol in my car and drive somewhere, I need to be getting from A to B and I've still got a long road trip ahead of me. So um, I gathered and, and, you know, in the row and got to meet everybody, which is great. But now I'm just chilling here for a while until they come back and, but yeah, it was amazing. It's a beautiful campsite. I've got shade, like most of the day, the weather is beautiful. It's not too hot. It's just lovely and I'm really enjoying it. And yeah, it's a really, it's a really nice spot to be. It's a, it's an expensive caravan park for me, but unlimited Wi-Fi, which is great. So I can upload some YouTube videos and catch up on some stuff and and catch you up on my trip and yeah I'm just I'm really enjoying it and I'm feeling quite chilled.